So Disney is moving 2,000 jobs from California to Florida. Here's why. One of the great things about America's 50th state federal system is that people can vote with their feet in response to different policies. The Walt Disney Company is the latest business to plan to move some operations out of California in favor of a lower t- tax state. Disney will move 2,000 jobs from its California headquarters to a new campus in Florida. In a letter to employees, Disney executive Josh DeMauro explained that the decision to relocate the jobs is partly due to Florida's business-friendly climate. The California Policy Center has documented an extensive list of celebrities and enter- enterprises to leave the state due to its high taxes and unfriendly business climate. This includes major corporations like Hewlett Packard, Oracle, Palantir, Dole Food, Nestle, Toyota, and many others moving thousands of jobs out of California. Notable celebrities and entrepreneurs, including Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, Ben Shapiro, have left the state in recent years as well. Thoughts? It's just like everything else. You know, it's a slow trickle of negativity in California. And when this all first started five, six, seven years ago, when the country started to get divided, I thought, you know, no way. This is the United States. We're going to rally. I I can't see this lasting forever. Things are going to turn. But you know what? It's just like everything else. A celebrity here, a company there, Disney 2000 employees here. And I I drive around L.A. right now, Pat. You won't even recognize it for what it was when you moved to the United States or even right before you left. It's the deterioration of everything. It's ugly. Okay, there's no pride in keeping up the city anymore. There is graffiti everywhere. There's garbage everywhere. Underneath every bridge, bridge overhang, there's there's just tons of trash. Now the Winnebago's yeah. are, are lined up, and and you know everybody is sick of the homeless issue. It's just gotten so out of control. Um, for me, I'm going to myself. Okay, what is going to be the tipping point for me? And here's what it is. I've decided. I think I know what it is for me. It's if Antifa come starting to do what they did in Portland. If they turn LA into their next battleground, I will run from that state very, very, very fast. And I'm, I'm a little worried because they've already had a few little battles and things going on in LA already. But you know, this is just another example and you can't get more powerful than Disney sending out a statement that says Florida is business friendly. Mm-hmm. I mean, every single word in that statement was calculated and they were sending that missile and they'll send more, they'll send more. This is the first wave of them going out there. But you know, they have a little issue in Orlando because there's no housing. So if they send two thousand people to Orlando there's very little inventory for yeah, houses that's they, true. they don't have enough new ho- homes they don't have you enough have houses to live for sale 40 minutes out 40 miles out and and by the way traffic in Orlando is getting bad yeah. it's not it's not like it used to be 10 yeah. years ago so that that's the, the other situation they were dealing with but I mean look that's a big deal 2,000 Disney yeah. boys moving to Florida I really wouldn't worry that much about it. I think me, Kevin's going to organize the uh, National Guard to come in and force people to stay. So there's that. It's going to be a forced non-relocation, but friendly. Friendly. Look forward to your seven corny uh, response videos to that one, Gov. But the... uh (laughs) <laughs> but I got to tell you, man, I am not very happy about this because these people are the parasites. These people are the parasite Borg from outer space who find they, they consume all the resources in an area and then they, they suck it dry with their progressive policies and they come to a new area that's ripe without them and they're going to suck it dry as well. You think Disney is not going to bring their progressive policies to Florida? You think they're not going to bring their financial influence? You, you the political are. system, think but, I are. Think but they, they, are. they already right. have them here. They've got a hundred thousand yeah. employees already here. Two thousand, two thousand, five thousand. Yeah. Relocate but, but let, the let, headquarters. Let me, listen, let me, let me, and it, and they may, and it may happen, right? But you have to also sit there and ask the question: Why are we leaving? Why are we moving? Right? Why mm-hmm. are we leaving? Mm-hmm. It, 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 look, I, I, I still remember Chiavone Hojet. It's a street I was born on. I still remember Jam Hospital. It's the hospital I was born in. I still remember Gulbengian. First five years, I went to Gulbengian. It was a Armenian school. I still remember the Assyrian church I used to go to. I still remember, remember going to Esfahan on vacation with my family. Last, the only vacation I went on with my mom and dad. I still remember Esfahan. I still remember going to Bandar Pahlavi and driving by Rasht, which now they've changed the name to the city, and we'd go there and have caviar. I still remember Damusik, Hushang. These are all friends and family. I still remember every one of these guys. It's still in my blood. I am from Iran. I love the culture that we had during that time. Armenian, Assyrian from Iran. Till today, it's in my heart. Every single time we think about Iran, we ask, why do we leave? I couldn't say anything. I was silenced. We were afraid. We were worried. If you told anybody you're Christian, if you told... And you would sit there and like, even as a kid, hmm. it didn't take a lot to realize this concept didn't work. Freedom is everything. This is why we go to America, the greatest country on the world, till today. I don't know what's going to happen 10 years from now. 
But till today, it's the greatest country in the world. So a lot of these guys that are leaving, here's what I'm wondering. If you've ever read the book by Bob Iger, what's the book called, Kai? The Bob Iger's book is the Right of a Lifetime, right? He talks about how he's sitting with uh, Murdoch. I think is in a book. Is he sitting with Murdoch? And he's talking about the fact Murdoch asks him, so Bob, any plans of running for office? And Bob's like, oh, no, I don't want to do anything like that. And he says in the book, I was thinking about it, but I couldn't tell him. Because what hmm. if Fox News goes out there and finds out that I want to run? What they would run with it? I wanted to run. And he wanted to run as a what? As a Democrat. And, and governor. Wasn't he thinking right away? He, no, no. He wanted to go straight to president? presidency. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, straight up to okay. presidency. He's a Democrat. He talks about why he's a Democrat. He talks about why he's a Democrat because of his parents. He's not a Democrat because he's a Democrat. He's a Democrat because he's loyal to his mom and dad. And it's a form of undermining your family if you're a Democrat, right? Mm -hmm. I'd love to see some of these guys who are Democrats who are leaving California and going to Florida not telling you to be a Republican, but it's time to you become an independent, kind of say, hey, these policies you guys are representing, I just don't support anymore. What the hell is the matter with you? Are you seeing that, though? There's empirical evidence in both Arizona and yeah. Texas that they don't. They they relocate yeah. because those those policies failed, and then they vote for those same policies in their new location. But, but it's, it's asinine. But I think Bob, deep down inside, is a logical guy. I think the only reason a person wouldn't is pride, ego of saying you were right. It's the only reason. But we all eventually get to a point where we sit there and we think there was an idea that we thought was good. We're eventually going to question it. I think some of the guys are going to start converting. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.